The last feature in working with coupons is coupon printing. Now, this is obviously a feature that helps us print the coupons that we've created in this software. So if we just go to inventory and click on coupon printing, we'll get to this coupon printing feature. And in here there's a few choices to be made before we go, can go ahead and print coupons. And I'll skip this first option in here in order to uh, better explain it a little later once we've uh, covered these printing formats, the second uh, set of options. Um, and that's kind of like the most important decision you have to make. You have two choices of printing formats. You have the one column of coupons kind of printing format and a full sheet printing format. The one column of coupons printing format uh, prints as this little graphic in here shows and as the name suggests a single vertical column of coupons. It prints the coupons on the paper stack one, of top, one on top of another like this. Now uh, this is useful for uh, most uh, often for those printers that have narrow paper maybe on some kind of a paper roll. Um, there's a lot of you know receipt printers used for printing coupons. There's a lot of uh, you know, label printers, different kind of label makers and so on and so forth that some people like to use to print coupons as well and uh, they can use this option in here to print the items vertically one on top of another. Now uh, the full sheet one, the full sheet option uh, prints on a regular paper which we know as eight and a half by eleven inches or as we call letter size paper or internationally they call it A4 format and uh, that's the regular office printer, regular home printer. Uh, so in, in, in case of that kind of a paper and that kind of a printer uh, you want to maximize the uh, space allowed for printing on the paper and you want to print multiple coupons you know uh, with multiple rows and columns vertically and horizontally and fill out the entire space right just as it's showing on this little graphic in here now uh, back to this option that I skipped the first option it only applies to uh, this format of printing the one column of coupons because see it says vertical spacing between coupons it fixes the vertical spa spacing between coupons if the default option of one is uh, not enough of a spacing for you if you want to space these coupons uh, further from one another so you can maybe cut them easier they're just too tight maybe as they print with the default setting on one you just increase this to two three four you can type in whatever number you want in here and as long as you get it right for your needs and when you're happy with the spacing between uh, these coupons then you just stick to that setting uh, and of course this doesn't apply to the full sheet which uh, the full sheet uh, type of printing uh, the full sheet format of printing will have uh, much more difficult problems than just the vertical spacing it will have more problems like horizontal spacing the margins in between you know top and bottom of the page left and right of the page uh, the size of the coupon you gotta decide which size the coupon is gonna be so are you gonna fit more coupons and print smaller size coupons and you gotta fit more coupons on the sheet on single sheet of paper or you're gonna go with uh, larger size coupons and fit less maybe even less columns and less rows and therefore less coupons on the sheet but larger coupons so all of these uh, you know things you have to deal with like the size of coupons the spacing horizontal vertical spacing between them the margins on both sides or top and bottom uh, to shorten your the need to worry about all of this like uh, you're some kind of a professional printer or something uh, what we do to simplify all of this is we've adopted um, Microsoft uh, Microsoft's way uh, the way they do it in Microsoft Word uh, they respect certain label standards label formats for uh, for sheets that use labels like this and uh, we've put them all in here these are standard and they're not bound to just Microsoft Word they're 
literally world standards for uh, printing problems like this and uh, every each one of these will result into a different size coupon and you know so a different size printed object and differently aligned and therefore you know will give you less or more coupons per sheet per page so these are all uh, world standards well known they can be used in a lot of types of software but what we do is for simplicity we just merge to Microsoft Word so what we do is as soon as you select your standard of format in here as known commonly known as label format like we have the default in here Avery 5160 because it's uh, the most used one in the world but you can obviously change it to whatever you want as we just showed you but for this video tutorial let's go with Avery 5160 and as soon as you choose that and the rest of the options in here and you're ready to print coupons what's gonna happen is our software is gonna take you straight to your Microsoft Word program so you have to have a Microsoft Word program on your computer for this full sheet of printing format unlike the one column of coupons printing format which will take you straight to the printer will take the print test straight to the printer and will print what you have to do with this one or what it does with this one is with a full sheet as soon as you hit print coupons it actually presents the coupons aligns them at all automatically for you in word makes them proper and the only thing you have to do is hit print from word but you don't have to bother with aligning them with choosing sizes you just literally choose your format and uh, the rest of the settings hit print puts it all automatically for you and properly aligned in word opens up your word program and you hit print from there and you're going to see all of that right now the one option i skipped in here that we're going to explain now is this one in here uh, that says is this an already used sheet and if so start at position what obviously position one is the default for brand new sheets but you may have a sheet of paper that's been previously used from a previous uh, a, a task of printing and maybe let's say you had position one and position two um, already printed so therefore you can't print on position one and position two and you want to maybe start from position three which is blank and continue onward so let's say you want to start at position three and we're going to do this for this video tutorial so you see how it is to start the printing at position three and not at position one so we're pretending that you have a used already partially used uh, sheet of paper that the first two positions are already printed on and the last thing we need to select in here is what coupons we want printed and how many of them so we'll select let's say new coupon one that's the coupons that we created with this software in one of the previous video tutorials let's say we need quantity 10 of this one so in the quantity box I'm gonna put 10 and as soon as I click add it's gonna put them on the list for printing in here so new coupon one quantity 10 now I'm gonna end here for this video tutorials because, tutorial because I don't have any more coupons that we created with this um, um, series of video tutorials for an example but um, if we wanted to add more we just go in here go back in the drop down menu select the next one the quantity that we want hit add and it's gonna add it to the list and then go back again and do it over again until you complete the uh, list that you need to print the test that you need to print right now um, maybe it's like six different kinds of coupons with all the different quantities it's all gonna fill in this table once you're satisfied with that list and you're done uh, you want to go to printing as soon as you hit print coupons as I said it's gonna take us to Word as you're gonna see now and it just took us to Word and I'm just showing you the sheet the paper sheet part of Word not the uh, footer header of it the whole Word it's not like you haven't seen Microsoft Word before um, so here's uh, the sheet in Word and how it aligned them all properly for it sized the coupons properly for the Avery 5160 label type 
uh, for that format it aligned them properly spaced them out properly this is again Avery 5160 and as you can see as we requested it's giving us 10 coupons you can count them there are 10 as we select the quantity 10 and we said start from position 3 here position 1 position 2 we're not using we're imagining this is already going to be a used sheet uh, and we want to start at position 3 and all we got to do in here is hit print in word and this will be printed for us